Welcome back to the channel. You're not going to want to miss this video. This October recap is fucking special because what you're going to see is that I was down well over $5,000 to start off the month and how I overcame that, followed my strategy, my trading plan, and we finished the month green. Let's get into it. So we started off the month in October. It was pretty good. You could see I kind of booked myself some appointments. Uh, I entered my one DTE uh, or, we, or excuse me, we had a zero DTE here. I was mobile. This is my mobile look here uh, following my credit spread strategy for all of you in Labu. I had to do some Labu technical analysis because my poor baby absolutely tanked and now it's reverse splitting. So I've sold off my Labu net gain was only 10,000 for the year. It's OK. I'm OK with it. And during my one DTE Condor strategy, I have not released this strategy publicly yet. I am still in the back testing phase, but you can follow along during these recaps and see how I operate them. I entered a put side credit spread on the third here. Clear all four confirmations. I entered the call side because this is very common. We have strong reversals. And the first level of risk management in my credit spread strategy is to add a call side. So let's see what happens. We added some put sides on a statistical based entry, which was great. Uh, that statistical based entry is just saying that we're not going to go down 2.2% on the day because the largest move in 2023 was 2.28%. So that's what that's what I mean when I say a statistical entry. I'm following historical stats of the market. Um, we looks like we took a loss on the one DTE. Um, approaching the cut zone for the 15 minute confirmation, setting an exit to for the zero DTE and the condor. We wind up finishing $1,100 on the day, but just looking quick glance, that was like a fucked up day that I probably was very stressed. I'm creating an actual income program here. And by the end of this month, uh, we're currently in November now, December 1st, we're doubling our prices. No more coupons outside the Discord. You have to join MOT for free. MOT for free platform. We have so much great shit and educational shit. Go to WAP.com or go to MaxOptionsTrading.com in the future, uh, near future here, and join MOT for free. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss out on all the coupons and all the sales and all the giveaways that we're doing for free customers. Let's take a look. The battlefield is set. That's just my way of saying I'm prepared in the morning. We entered some call sides on a clear breakdown. Uh, and then look at this, another reversal. October to me was like the month of fucking intraday quick reversals. It's like we see a clear breakdown, boom, we're right back. So that was something that I had to follow. I followed the risk management. We had some strong support and resistance levels on the day, just crossed 70% gains. And then boom, look at this on the fourth, another another 799 day. I was up $2,000 on the fourth. This is so important to notice. I, uh, I'm up two grand on the first two days of trading. As always, here's my logs. You can see I'm up over $15,000 in my zero DTE strategies and my one DTE that I'm tracking and getting all the back data for possible. I was currently red. Don't forget, you can refer friends to Max Options Trading, by the way. Your referrals, look how much I'm paying out a month right now, 450 bucks. So if you hate money, then don't do this. But if you love what we're doing here and you love this MOT family, Bring your friends and fam along. Teach them the way to make a little side income here. This is an income program. Starting Monday, we're going to start wheeling for Labu, which I have started a wheeling channel now again for my customers, which they are eating up. So if you're trying to sell options, cash procured puts and covered calls, uh, the wheel channel is alive. Who followed my strategy and crushed it? I was a uh, looks like I was in appointments with my wife and I didn't get to trade on the fifth. Um, but I was currently seven of eight in October and up two thousand on the month. What an epic start to the month! I think around here is where things are going to get south. So let's see. The battlefield is set. I entered some call sides or excuse me put sides on the clear break up. Uh, those put sides were basically at 100%. Now, that's what I'm talking about. That is the kind of price action that we like to see. So now we entered a statistical call-based entry on the massive volatility breakout. You know the vibes, MOT. We let it expire for the 100% bag, another $400 gain. We were nine for 10 in October and up 2,400 bucks. So I know what you're thinking right now. Like, Max, you're full of shit. You weren't, you didn't, you didn't have a bad month. Wait till you see what happens here. 
Wait, just wait till you see what happens. And most importantly, don't forget why you're trading. Take that fucking paycheck. You're the CEO of your trading firm. Take that paycheck every single week. Here's my logs, as always, which are backed by my Discord log, Discord entries and logs, and I even post the photographic evidence. You can't say that I'm not trading live. Uh, if you didn't know, we enter. We have a whole new collection of Max Options Trading merch, by the way. Ignore my stupid fucking face here and the duck lips, but the MOT long sleeve has seriously helped me in the gym, boost my confidence, boost my vibe, and a lot of my customers are buying the MOT gym merch now. So if you're about those health gains and wealth gains, stop by our store and get yourself a piece of MOT merch. I think it's just, look at this. I mean, I think it's just clean, crispy, big baggy long sleeve. Let's everyone in the gym know you're here to fuck. Covered calls, little labu update. All right. So you could see that we entered put sides. We had all four confirmations there, but then it instantly reversed. This is the big moment. So here's the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the fucking loss. It started off with what looked like to be a great day. We had confirmations. We were patient. I was posting my charts. Everything was going good. Look at this. 1.42 p.m., just above two hours left in the market, my alerts start going off. Oh, shit, what's going on? And then I check the charts, and you see this. This is gut-wrenching for someone who just sold calls if you sold call credit spreads you know you can lose tons on it so to see a massive breakout on the 15 minute chart like this this is crippling especially when you see a 4312 to 4330 candle and then the next one follows up this kind of breakout is gut wrenching and you know all you can do is follow your trading plan and wait until we get out uh have our exit 40 points in under 90 minutes that means the spy moved four dollars up in less than an hour and a half it's it's one of those rarities that you can't plan for these unforeseen events it was not a high important news day and if you're ready to see the lost porn i mean five thousand two hundred and thirty eight fucking dollars gone 484 percent against my equity against the uh what i had open i was trying to make a thousand i lost five which is actually a lot more than I try to lose. This crushed me. I mean, we all go through this This as a trader. You, we all have these moments where it's like, fuck this. I'm over it. I'm sick of it. And it normally happens on a day like this. But I got my shit together. I let the rest expire. I had to think positive like I always do. And I realized I have a system that works. I have a system that's proven over time that I knew I can get this back. And what you know what? The past is the past. That shit is over with. So fuck it. We took a major loss and I'm ready to move on. There's the lost porn. Let the math do the math in and let's drive on. I had an epic leg workout the next day and then I wrote right here. I'm thinking my next YouTube video is going to say how I started my week with a $5,238 loss and title it. I lost over 5K and made it back in two weeks and I'm going to show you how. Now, remember that. Remember what I just said there. My YouTube title is going to be, I lost over 5K, and I'm going to make it back in two weeks, and I'm going to show you how. The battlefield is set. We entered some put sides with some confirmations. I was a little extra patient on that day. Uh, and then we had a major breakout to the upside with how many green candles is that on the 15-minute chart? So I immediately took a statistical-based entry again that we're not going to have a 1.7% close. Then you got to be a sniper in the market just like this fine piece of ass is. Everything is up 90%. You know the vibes, baby. Let it expire for the 100% bag. And now we already erased $1,000. So we're 14 for 16 in October. And we're down 4,218 on the week. That right there, that just shows you it has nothing to do with your winning percentage. I can win 90% of my trades and be down four grand on the week. It's all about managing risk and managing your losers. That's the most important thing. That is more important than anything. How you manage a loser is how you will define your trading career. Winning is easy. It's just about the losers. The battlefield is set with a score. I invented this. I call it the small gap opening range breakout. So when you have those very minimal lap ups and downs, I like to just include them in the orb because you could have whiplash behavior. I entered call sides because look, of that whiplash behavior, it went to fill the that small orb right there. 
I wrote some inspirational shit here saying most people after taking a loss will be rushing full, spat, full speed back into trading without risk or size management. Meanwhile, we're just being patient. We're hanging back, relaxing, knowing that our time to strike is soon. We're going to knock the loss off brick by brick. Most likely, we're going to be green by the end of the month. Patience and letting the math work out in our favor is the key. I love that I wrote that. I think that was important. I got a good reaction from it. Uh, we had a breakdown on the put side. And this is what we're looking at now. We're back in orb. Beautiful downtrend day. And you know the vibes. 477 on the day. And we cut a little bit, bit more of those losses. 17 for 19. Now we're down 1,300 on the month and 3,700 on the day, on the week. Now, this is when you, when you take a, a crippling loss like that and then you start building some momentum back. You're like, I'm back, baby. Now, this is what fucking really crushes you. I want to make it clear. Sometimes trading is just the hardest thing, and it's the most stressful thing. I enter a call side here, all four confirmations for me needed, and then being more patient on the put side, I waited, and then we had a break up. I entered an iron condor. Um, so far, so good at 11.55. At 108, this is the sentence that everyone dreads. My alerts just went off because we had a massive drop down. I didn't post the chart. I should have posted it. Um, I closed the Labu 350 CSPs for a loss. There was the 30-year bond auctioning that it reopened, and it caused a major plummet in the market. Getting close to the put side here, and bam. It's like, dude, you fucking lose $5,000. You start grinding it back and you and you and you're down fifteen hundred, right? And then boom, the Friday hits and you're down nineteen forty five. And that was just fucking crippling right now. That was like not what I needed, not the time. Nine out of twenty two wins, down fifty six seventy eight on this week. Back down well over three thousand dollars on the month, uh thirty two fifty nine. Uh, that was a tough one to chew because, like I said, we were getting momentum. There's a chart for you. So this is what I got caught up in. Um, no brainer. You're going to take a loss in that when the market drop decides that, hey, 60, 70 points, we, we're going down. So when my alerts go off and why that's such a dreadful you know, alert just went off for my put side, what, why my alerts going off is so crucial is because on my charts right here, so the white line, 4330, I probably had an alert set for like 4335. And what that does is it gets my focus, gets me back to my computer where I need to say, oh, shit things are going wrong. So now I might need to close this trade or I might need to watch it for a bounce and I'm good to go. But it's really the first level of, hey, you're about to take a major loss. Get back to get back to your focus. You know, when I set an alert, I set it on my phone, my watch, my Apple watch. I set it on my computer that makes this loud fucking noise. Um, actually, as I'm filming this, if the market were to go up a dollar fifty, you'll hear one. Um, so the alerts are like the first level of, oh, shit things are not going great. So I think it's so important every day to set alerts because otherwise I don't want to stare at the screen all day. I want to go about my fucking day. So you could set a um, contingency order at auto stops, but no, I find most of the time you just wait, you wait for confirmations and you either take a little bit larger of a loss or things start going back to your favor where you would have taken a, um, a gain on that one. So I logged it as always. And I went from over $15,000 in one week down to $10,000 in gains. Entry based in the Orb, level of risk management, CPI morning, got absolutely dusted on unforeseen news. I mean, you can't do anything for unforeseen events. I got fucking smoked. Only three losers on the zero D DTE SPX since August 25th, and they were all winners by closing. That is another knife right in my chest. 9K in losses on three trades that were all winners by the end of the day. But you can't think like that because if I were to let them go and they were to be total losers, that would be $30,000 in losses and I'm not coming back from that. So risk management is important, but fuck. You know, that's like, imagine losing five grand or five grand, building the momentum up, getting fucking knocked down on a Friday just to find out both of those trades were winners. The emotional toll that took on me that week. And I mean, I've been doing this for six years. I was like, fuck this. 
I had the weekend to recharge my batteries. I fucking got back after it and I was not freaking going to give up. I knew the math. I know my strategies. I've worked so hard on it. That was a Thursday, by the way. I think I've been referencing that secondary loss as a Friday. That was a Thursday. Here's the Friday that closed the week. Um, it looks like we had all confirmations needed to enter some call sides. Um, the market started tr dropping pretty dramatically. So we entered a statistical put side, um, setting alerts, you know, the vibes, huge close to the week with 700. Um, so now we're on the 13th of the month and I'm down $2,500. I worked my ass off. I crushed it. The first, and remember I took a $2,000 paycheck out already and I freaking was down 2,500 bucks. So I am really, my account showing a $4,500 loss at this point. So it was not in a good place. Uh, I was 22 for 25 for the month. An amazing statistical win rate. And I'm down 2,500 bucks. Have an epic weekend. I go recharge my batteries. I come back Monday morning and I take another paycheck on Friday still because I don't give a fuck. Win or lose, just like I said here, bad week, bad first half of the month, but you're the CEO of your, your company. You're the, you're the CEO of your trading. Let's come back next week and fucking dominate. And that was the mindset I was taking into the week. As we are now, we checked our logs. We were only up 11,562 now on the zero DTEs, and we were green 291 on the one DTEs, uh, overall giving us a nice little 11,800-ish um, in total profit. Good morning. This is Monday morning. After a nice workout start the week, first thing we're going to do is sell some Labu covered calls. The battlefield was set. We entered some put sides on a clear breakout here. Uh, looking for a statistical based entry because when I see six to nine green candles, oh yeah, it's time for some statistical based entries. And another fun fact is I have never lost a statistical based entry. This since I've started logging on August 25th, I am 28 for 28 on these statistical based entries because it's math. One DT condors basically at max loss alert set for the call side. Very light and easy. Looks like we're going to lose the day and then let the rest expire. Hey, look at this. We made 127 bucks. Okay. It is what it is. That's a huge day. 10,500 total collateral. So I probably would have at max loss, probably lost somewhere around three grand. I made 127. It seemed like a very tight day, but overall green is green. And when you're green, that's a fucking huge win. Wig win rate still down 2254 on the month swinging my condor looks like we had a massive gap down 30 points on the next day um so i immediately enter some call sides on the look of a continuation and then boom reversal city baby my favorite it seems i get caught up in these reversals more than fucking uno players do um so it reverses hard all confirmation all confirmations were needed for a little um for a little uh, put side action, that breakout, we added more put sides, it seems, to, to cut the call side, stop the confirmations, a nice rejection, all confirmations needed for a loss. I closed my call side at 1900 bucks. So I got bamboozled again because I entered with double confirmations here. And boom, major reversal. I had to save myself with some put sides, but unfortunately... This is a loss. I Like the previous loss I showed you, this is fucking nuts. You get the 20-point candle, and then you get the 20-point continuation in less than an hour. 40 points in less than two hours is absurd, and that crushed me. So the last three out of three were winners, but we closed to the stop loss, and guess what? Same thing happened. I call this pattern the fuck max. The white line was my absolute stop loss, and I closed on this candle. It rejected at the end of the day. It would have been 100% profit. So this pattern here is now commonly known in my group as the fuck max. Um, if you come trade with me long enough, you'll definitely see the fuck max a few times. Looks like another green day went south on us. Now we're on the 17th of fucking October, and we got smacked. I even, fuck you, back down to 10,000. So I'm down... 3300 on the month and I've taken out 3000 fucking dollars in paychecks so I'm hurting this month and we're closing into 2 weeks left this is stressful
This is what stress feels like. But I want you to remember the title of this video. Remember that. Remember that title I told you. Remember, you want to be a successful trader, you need to make the right decisions. You want to make the right decisions, you need experience. How do you gain that experience? By making bad trades and bad decisions. Let me read that again. For Actually, pause the video and fucking just look at that block right there. If you want to be a successful trader, you need experience. You get experience by making bad trades and decisions. To be fair, I don't think I was making bad decisions. I think that it was bad trades, like in the sense of... um the trades were just going against me. You know what I mean? Like things just aren't going to go your way always. Statistically, the way I open, I operate my strategy, they will go my way most of the time. But those 40 points in less than two hour reversals are the kryptonite of my strategy. And to have three of them in one month and in and a, and a, and one half month is very rare. Um, and so I just feel like, I was making the right decisions and closing my trades. I think I have the experience now with six years full time. I just truly think that the trades were just bad. You know, they were bad from the jump. The only thing I could say in hindsight is if I was just patient 30 more minutes, I would have seen the reversal and reacted more accordingly. So maybe patience for me was the learning lesson throughout this process so far. And then I was motivated. Time for us to break past that 10K fucking resistance that I kept having. And I'm referring to this right here. I couldn't get past 10K gains in my zero DTE strategy, no matter how I was trying that month. But I wanted to. So we're moving on right here. All these confirmations to enter some calls. I entered some damn calls. All these confirmations right here on a fucking reversal again. And now every reversal like this has me shook. Because I'm like, oh, no, is this going to be another massive loss reversal? Are we going to keep getting crushed? But I have to follow the math and the strategy. So I entered the put sides aggressively. I entered the call, more call sides uh, because this is actually what wind up happening. We wind up seeing a massive freaking dump. So as I'm following it, we were going over. This was a gap in the trading. I started going over gap structure. Always a good move to add gaps to your charts because you could see gap structure there. Uh, move down the call side. We wind up filling up the gap, but you could see the perfect bottom here where it filled the gap again. That has become a major level of support and resistance throughout the day. We got a put side alert which once again, this means we're probably going to lose. That's at 254. We cut the put side at 306, currently down 500 days. So it's a very 500 bucks. That's a very manageable loss. Now you can see my win rate is going down and I'm down 3545 on the month. Not good, but I managed the risk totally well and we took a smaller loss. Wasn't 5,000, wasn't 2,000, wasn't 2,500 bucks. So that's pretty damn good. Max lost three about 70 minus 505 on the day, which is really damn good. Like I just said, um, well, 4,300 and it's going to be another loss here. Let's see what happens, but stay on top of those spreads. Here's the one DTE condor where I raise the amount of contracts based on my zones that I track in my tracker. This is another, I mean, when you think about this, I lost all of those trades, the 5,000, the 2,000, the 2,000 and the 500. And all of them were winners. All five of the losses were winners. So I'm seriously confused how this risk management is working backwards for me. Um, and it was just like, a, you know, you get punched in the face and then it's like, let me come here and fucking punch you one or two more good times. So I was sitting in this day. I remember this day. I was just sitting there reworking the math and the thought process. And I've come up with something big for a seller. So you need a minimum of 22 K to follow me. Essentially, if we play our one DTE, we won't be alerting the zero DTEs until our one DTEs are at risk. So we can have confirmed profits on the day. I think if we switch to the statistical and mathematical edge, which I didn't lose on, we could still play our 15 minute orb strategy on my credit spread strategy video. Um, but this is huge. This is the real code is being patient, waiting for the statistical entries. It, yeah. So it absolutely changes the 15 minute orb strategy because you could play that. But if you're waiting, so the one DTE is based on standard deviation. So if it's 30, 40 points out of the money and it's at risk, if it's if that one's going to be a loser, now you're opening up a zero DT that's 60, 70 points out of the money and you have a much higher edge on the market. And I'm pretty sure that mindset switch right 
right there when I sat there and I dug back into my strategy and I was like, let me rework all of this. This is where we we noticed the flip. So this is the flip day when I said, fuck this. Something's not right. Let me go remath the math so the math can start mathing again. And um, we we dove back in. We got a battle. Uh, no trading when Jay Powell speaks. Um, neither of the condor legs are at risk. We'll take an easy 555. It's too volatile at the moment to pick a side. It looks like we entered put sides at 344 p.m. 344 p.m. We go for a $400 trade and bang, we smack it. We enter our condor and we hit a massive $1,500 day. Huge day. Very awesome. That was with just a statistical based entry right here with 15 minutes left on the day. I said, there's no way in hell this thing is going to drop past an, a key level of 4260. And I did that 11 points away where I got a massive premium with 15 minutes left. So with that, I'm up 386 now, 11,137 on the zero DTE. So we started breaking that 10K resistance, and we were still down 2,500 on the month. I redid my kitchen that day uh, over the weekend. Don't forget the scorb. If there's such a small gap right here, just put it in your orb. Uh, so it would it will stop you from a lot of whiplash behavior. Trust me. Adding a put side here on the test of the one DTE. This is a statistical based entry. So since our one DTE was at what strike price is forty two fifty. And we are down to 42.49. That tells me it's time to enter a put side statistical based entry there, which we did. Boom. Look at this beautiful fucking kitchen I just made. Holy shit. I'm the man. I'm fucking the man. I'm down and I'm letting it crush. I think we can let everything expire today. The zero DTE, the one DTE is up in the air, but stand by. If you know the math, the max of the condor was 245. The zero DTE will bring in 350 commissions on both. So we canceled out a total day of losses. So nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. If a, you get a day where you make nothing, that's a win. So I, I was still down 25.45 to close the week, and I still took my paycheck. So now I'm really down, what was it, $5,000. Here's my logs for proof of every entry. I have my zones, I have my statistical-based entries, and we managed to break past that 10K resistance and climb to the 11,400 mark. Who's ready to make some fucking health and wealth gains this week? Now we're at the 22nd of October. Boom. Fucking things are getting tight. We were down and out, and I've never had a red month, baby. Use it. I should not say that. I've had multiple red months. I've never had a red month since I started logging the strategy in August. So I haven't had a red month in four or five months now, but I shouldn't uh, say overall. That's a lie. Entered a put side on this clear breakup here. We entered some put sides. We got a decent premium based on the strategy. I mean, 3 p.m., it looks like nothing else happened the day. So it was probably just a very flat, consolidatory day from there. $1,000 gain, massive day. Now we're down 34 at 41. 82% success is my worst month since April. And I'm still down 1495 on the month. We enter a condor. The next day, our battlefield is set. We have a break to the upside, so the put side entry is clear. That's where we're going to enter. Move the alerts for the day for a possible statistical-based entry. And it looks like we had a statistical-based entry later on in the day at 42.65, which was way up here, which is about 30 bucks higher. And this is the reason why. We had a breakdown back through orb, breakdown towards a gap fill. So I entered a call side, going to set a close for everything in half, and boom, 774. We're heating up again. Here we are, 37 for 44, 84% success rate, and down 700 bucks on the month. We're on the grind. The one DTE came in huge for us. We had a big $800 hit where we were able to make 1100 bucks overall since August 25th on the zero DTE. And boom, 10K resistance is getting smacked away. We're up $12,237 now on the zero DTE strategy. The 25th. 
Things are coming down to the nitty titty. The battlefield is set, but our alerts already were going off because we had a huge drop here. 20 over 20 points in the first 20 minutes. So what do we do? We follow it with a statistical based entry. I chose a 41 45 strike on 4209. I was $55 out of the money with 20 minutes in. And then I also entered a call side based on the orb break. The orb break and confirmation here gave me everything I needed to enter a call side. Also, Monday and, or excuse me, January and February, don't forget, we're going to run a massive, massive charity again. We raised over $25,000 for a school with children with autism. And since then, I have become one of the board directors for that school. And I would love to continue the, the way of aiding and helping these families that deal with children with autism that so they can grow, learn, and have the same school and experiences as any child should, just as they should. So don't forget. We're a charitable organization. If there's any charity that you want to contribute to, this right here is one of them that's close to my heart, my family's heart, um, and being on the board of directors at the school is one of the best honors of my life. We got $190 credit yesterday, no problems. It looks like we made $178 bucks on the day. Hey, that's pretty damn good, $170 or $190, so I'm okay with it. Now we're sitting at an 82% success rate. We're at the 25th, and we're down $500 on the month. Don't forget, we were down over 5,000 at one point. We're down 500 on the month. Battlefield is set. Don't forget the small gap. And now we're looking. I'm entering a statistical entry that the market doesn't fall 2.1% today. Here's the statistical entry where I think the market's not going to fall. I got three trading days this month to finish in the green and wipe out a massive 71-78 loss in one week. The second week of the month, we had 71-78 in losses. That is massive. It's just more proof of the consistency and our multiple working perfectly. Even if we finished the month $100 green, it was 1,000% the best learning, education, and strategy fine-tuning so we can crush future months. and. Uh, we have been. Those in Labu, here's a little analysis. No alerts equal no problems. Uh, I lost over five. Here we go. During my epic leg workout, I was thinking again, my next YouTube video will be, I lost over 5K, made it back in less than two weeks. Remember this post above, two weeks and three days later, here we motherfucking are. YouTube video dropping next week. It did not drop next week. This video dropped like, it's like a month later, but whatever, you get it. I'm watching for a break. We're entering some call sides. Looks like we have a clear breakdown here. And with those call sides, we had a 95% chance of success. So I'll take those. This was not the credit spread strategy. If you want to know about my statistical based strategy, the one is that is 28 for 28. That is an investment guide that you could purchase at our website, maxoptionstrading.com or on WAP. Um, that investment guide has changed people's lives. It has taught them my statistical based entry credit spread strategy. And it is a really fucking good read. So I suggest you get over there. It's only 39 bucks. But if you join MOT for free, maybe we have a half off coupon there for you. So maybe you should check out MOT for free. It is a credit spread, but it's not the credit spread strategy that everyone's known from YouTube. It's not the break of the 15 minute orb. This is a statistical based strategy. So this is based solely off of volume, volatility and premium. And you're playing into the train as where the orb strategy is playing again away from the train. You see what I'm saying? So it's a totally different strategy. Both can be extremely profitable. The statistical based one is my original strategy that I made thousands with thousands and thousands, T two different strategies. You cannot mix the two today. It could have been a statistical based entry, which I'll always say, this is a statistical based one where I wrote my book on. And then uh, the other ones will, I'll say we have all of our confirmations on a breakout of orb. And this is why we're entering there. You know the vibes, turning the red day into an $800 profitable one, which was huge. And on October 26th, I finally got to say, again, since the first two days of trading, I am green, $299 on the month. Let's go, baby. We are down well over 5K at one point. 
Once upon a time in a land far, far away, Big Daddy Max was a badass, hard-charging paratrooper. On one jump, my parachute barely opened, and that malfunction, I fell through an Italian parachuter's parachute. I didn't pull my reserve, and I didn't get emotional. I remembered my training. I trusted the rest of my equipment, just like I do now in trading. It only took us 28 seconds to fall 1,500 feet where I broke my back. And if you can watch a video like this where someone's falling, listen to what they say. Hey, I got it on video. Listen to this. That's Big Daddy Max falling to his death right here. Look at this Italian guy spinning in circles. They're screaming, pull your reserve. That's my rucksack that I had to get off my body or I probably would have broke my knees. And boom. Oh, that looked like it fucking hurt. It looked like it fucking hurt. And you're damn right it did. I trusted my training. I trusted my equipment. And I trusted myself. And I remembered that experience vividly because throughout the month, I felt such a level of pride after I trusted my strategy. I trusted what I built. I trusted the math and I trusted myself. And now we were green on the month, ready to go. Happy Friday, MOT. Fucking we're green on the month, baby. The battlefield is set. Don't forget the scorb. Just like this. Perfect example of why a scorb is important. Here's the actual 15 minute orb. Here would have been a confirmation. But we close that little tiny gap and ba and bounced immediately. That's a perfect example of the scorb and why it can cause whiplash behavior and why I invented that shit. Being patient, the condor was up 47%. I entered a call side uh, on a breakdown here. It looks like it reversed on me immediately. I was being patient with the reversal. I was a or the, there was no reversal. There was a continuation down. So I entered a statistical based entry because we had, what is this? Two, four, six. I mean, we had some drop here. We had a 40 point drop. So it's time to get statistical on them. And you could see right here where it bounces right off of that 4107, 4112 line. What put side were we in? We were in 4080s. So even when it's starting to see some buying pressure down here, we're still $30 out of the money. 30 points out of the money with two hours left, feeling pretty damn comfortable. So we looked to set a nice close there, uh, closing early. Now that was patience. Let's fucking go. We got paid. We learned from our patience mistakes early on in the month, and we have a $1,200 freaking win. We logged 2,800 on the zero DTE this week and 720 on the one DTE, a $3,500 week. And now since August 25th, the zero DTE strategy is up 14,000. We really broke that 10K resistance and the freaking one DT is up 1600. Let's go. We are at an 84% success rate in October and I am now green $2,442 on the month. Don't forget, we lost $7,100 on week two and we were deep red all month long. Never settle, motherfuckers. Take the paycheck. Who's ready to close this month with a win? My fucking boy. Look at this. Doesn't that get you pumped, baby? Good morning. My wife and I had a doctor's appointment. Let's be smart today. The battlefield was set. Going to be very patient. This looks like some Monday reversal bullshit that smacked us around a little bit. We entered some call sides here based on a gap fill and some, um, some entry. We also had a beautiful reversal and breakdown. Those call sides looked to be very well played. 133 per looks like we're heading for the max loss on the one DTE, but those call sides we won. Um, so we're looking at $110 loss on the day. That's a win to me. That's always going to be a win to me. So I lose the one DTE and now I'm able to scale up the contracts a little bit. We we're up 2300 on the month. So you could see the consistency here. Everything's logged. Everything's shown. Double log through Excel so I could scrape data. Good morning and happy M uh, MO Good morning, MOT and happy Halloween. It's the last day of the month, baby. The battlefield is set. It's Halloween. And I'm sitting here thinking, I got to make a move today. So I'm watching this big orb that we got. A 20-point orb is pretty big. We see a rejection. We see some bottom there. Wanted to be extra patient on the last day of the month, and then boom. We have a reversal breakout, but because I had learned my fucking lessons about patience earlier on in the month, I was able to jump in on the reversal now and get in a put side, whereas normally I would have been in a call side. I would have been getting smoked. So we had that pump up. 
orb was so big, we broke back into orb, but we had a new level of support there, a level of support that I was watching closely. So once we had that level of support start to break, I entered a call side credit spread on that in, right in the middle of orb because we're closing in halfway through the day and we have not moved. Boom. Call side alert went off. Be on the lookout. Be on the lookout for confirmation. And it reversed. We did not take a loss on the call side, but because it did have an alert, I started risk management. I said, let's start scaling out. Let's start scaling out real closely. Let's close call side on the call side. That was an $800 call side loss. I'll definitely take it. It filled at $1, so I took a $600 loss. This will most likely be another 100% win. It was, but we, uh, we hit our stop loss, and I have to respect it, so... Boom. Here's the beautiful fuck you, Max. Um, I told you guys you're going to see this a lot. Almost all of my losses have been a win. Only one of them that I closed for stop loss wasn't a win. Uh, so there's the fuck you, Max, again. Uh, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I'm totally okay. Let the rest expire. We still managed to pull out $846 on the day. Not the close I wanted because we hit the condor and we hit the 10 on the put side. We lost the call side. So it could have been a $1,400 day. It wind up being a uh, $800 day, I believe. And we finished the month up $3,100 and being down over 7000 in the second week, not the first. That's a lie. Um, this is just so much proof to me of strategy and consistency, bringing back, following your plan and grinding all the way through final numbers for October. Let's scroll down. We were up 1800 on the one DTE Condor, which was massive because when we started, we were down 194. So a huge $2,000 swing on the one DTE. Thank you for being there. And we were at 1200 in gains in the zero DTE. Green is green. I'm happy we broke the 10K resistance. You can see October, August, I had just over 2000 in gains. September, I didn't get reversed on one time and we took a massive $11,000 month. And then October, super proud to say that we finished 3000 in the green overall. $15,000, $16,000 in total gains in three months since I've been logging and implementing the strategies. Here's the actual numbers. The breakdown of 16458 average of $117 per day you're making on 10K collateral. The ROI I've made thus far is 150% with an overall 85% win percentage. I skipped four days of trading and I took 140 trades in those three months. Good morning. Well, that's the end of the month. That's it. And that's the most proud fucking month that I've had probably in my trading career because my proof of concept, my everything, what the log, the whole month, like that whole blog, this whole video should be so inspirational for you, show so badass and so motivating. Like, look what you can accomplish when you fucking stick to your shit, you trust yourself, you trust your strategy, and you just don't give up. You didn't, I didn't go on tilt, I didn't do anything, I did the right thing. I stuck to what made me $11,000 the month before, and it made me $3,000 damn dollars the, the month after, which I was able to take it all out in paychecks throughout the month. Love it. That's trading. And that's the difference between a successful trader and the ones that aren't successful. Am I unmotivated that I only made two, three thousand dollars and I made 11 this month? No. The two or three thousand is probably more realistic because I crushed it one month doesn't mean I'm going to give myself these unrealistic expectations that this is the new standard. That's not how it works. You do exactly what I just showed you throughout this video. You crush it. You stay consistent and you fucking come join MOT for free right down here, baby, where you can ask any questions you need right here. You can see almost all of these people are upgrading to premium. We have free guides for you. We have education. We have coupons ponds that you're not going to want to miss like this one right here. We have elite tools and we're getting new members every single freaking day in this MOT for free lobby. Come take full advantage of max options trading while we still have a seven day free trial. Come take advantage of MOT for free. Come take advantage of our YouTube. You want to come trade live with Big Daddy Max and the option selling king and we're wheeling and dealing and we're using these mixed option selling strategies. Come join MOT. And if you're just interested in options buying, by the way, we have all of that too. So come check us out. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a video of persistency. It's a video of overcoming the odds. It's an it's a video of overdapting. It's a video of being a consistent and profitable, emotionless trader while having fun doing it. I think that was a lot of fun uh, throughout the month as well, even though we were red like the whole month. So. We starting off November the same way with the bang, baby. So you're not going to want to miss the next recap. I promise you these recap videos are going to help you grow into the most amazing trader.